had some of the worst luck when it comes to flying Aero's planes. Okay, oh he's off. Okay, what? You go. have, this is now the biggest airplane you'll have ever flown. Oh, man. Oh, I hated reliving that <laughs> so bad. This is the Aero's Trekker, and it could quite possibly be the newest, best beginner airplane to hit the market. This is a ready-to-fly setup, and it has everything you need to get this in the air in the box. The plane, the transmitter, the battery, and the charger. It has a top wing, which makes it more stable when flying in the air, plus my favorite feature is that it has stabilization. So for newcomer pilots, you can't tip it all the way and it just kind of makes it a little bit more docile of a flyer and a little bit easier to handle in the sky. Man, reliving all those terrible arrows crashes has really got me nervous. Hopefully I don't crash. Let's get this in the air. Pit crew, Nate, like your hat, Nate. That's pretty fancy. <laughs> all right, Nate. Any tips? Fly, because you got it. You're good. Okay. Oh my god. Told you it'd take off fast. Holy moly. I told you it'd take off fast. That was the fastest taking off fish. Now remember, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, because you're going to get blinded by the sun. Um, you asked for tips. Do, I don't do right hand. Okay, well, you're doing fine. That's insane. fine. You got it. You absolutely got it. But that was the most amazing takeoff I've ever seen. So, uh, thanks. Of any plane I've ever flown. Of mine! Oh, of yours, okay. Not, I gotcha. Stop making everything about you! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! That dive's crazy. Now we're in a different spot that today. That dive was 100% your fault, not <laughs> mine. It definitely was. <laughs> uh, they're mowing down where we normally fly on this runway, so now I have trees that I could possibly hit instead of a hill. Alright. You're doing good. Obviously, I cannot talk today. I'm flying in the stabilization mode and probably will this whole flight just because I feel like I'm so out of practice. I did not fly much at all this winter, especially once it really started getting cold. Fingers getting numb and flight just doesn't work for this me. This is one of your first warmer weather flights of the it year. Is. It's nice. It is nice. I'm just like relaxing, watching you fly a trainer plane. So we were talking about the potential of this being one of the best trainer planes on the market. Could it be uh, your first airplane? And yeah, it could. There's a basically there's like three really good options, maybe four for trainer airplanes. One of the best we have to all know it and face it is the Aero Scout. But a lot of people don't like the way the Aero Scout looks because it looks like a funky little spaceship. Now it has that design for a reason. It's very durable, but some people want a more realistic looking airplane and that's where this Trekker comes in handy. It'll be linked in the description box below, but the nice thing about this plane is it's the same price as the Aero Scout. Oh, I get my face. You're okay. Oh, it hit me right in the you're nose. okay, you're okay. <laughs> Uh, and you know, it's the same price, comes with a battery, charger, just like the Aero Scout, but it looks like a real airplane. So that's where this thing kind of shines. This has a lot of elevator authority. Like, yes, it does. You can really push it down <laughs> really fast, but as soon as you let off, it wants to gain altitude. So here I am pushing down, then I let off and it... A lot of that is because of the wind. I actually trimmed it up really well for Abby before this flight. And uh, I had hands-free passes at about medium throttle and it was, you know, spot on. It's about how I'm flying at Sir Nathan. And it's climbing? Well, that is me. Yeah, I would blame the wind, honestly, because the wind has picked up since you took off. As always. Yeah. See that, man? You can really... Yeah, that's okay. Um, so, I know that your confidence is there with this airplane. If you feel comfortable, everyone would like to see a roll or a loop. Of course they would. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see this come home in one piece. Yeah, me too. This is only like a... And I'm in a different spot and I got these trees. You got it though. You what got do you it. What you want me to do? Maybe a roll. Now this is the loop king. This thing has, like you said, you a think? ton of elevator authority. So it's the right switch. You're high enough and you could just pull a nice... I never do loops this direction. That's yeah, I know. Insane. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's the way the wind is going. So if you want oh. success, so you should, I shouldn't go this way. it would be 
I forgot uh, that you are supposed to do loops with your nose into the wind, right? You can do it either way, but it's better if you do it the other way. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness, right into right. the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You're you're about three mistakes high, so I'm you're about good. Twenty. Let's see it. I forgot how to do a loop. You're doing it, and it's the loop oh my king. Gosh. That's okay. You <laughs> it's did so it. High up. It's okay. But you guys, you can ease off on the juice. You're full throttle. There you go. Oh, that was, you can, that was enough excitement for today. Now listen, there's a lot of people that watch our, <laughs> there's, so there's some new people that watch our videos that say like, hey, just let her do what she wants. But trust me guys, Abby tells me off camera, like. If he doesn't tell me what to do, I'd get mad. <laughs> yeah, I, I just try to help nudge her in the right direction. It's not like I'm yanking the controls out of her hands. She can do whatever she wants. I just try to give little bits of advice to help keep her in the air, build oh, wait, the confidence. What am I doing? <laughs> You did a half, you did about a one eighth loop. That's what you <laughs> My did. My brain today. Oh, what's up? That was a long beep. That beep is, I'll remind everybody, all arrows ready to fly airplanes. Oh, it sounded different. Nope. Uh, okay. they, it beeps once every minute. Okay, I'm coming back to planet Earth. Okay. I'm He's done. off on the throttle. I'm done Just, just glide it. My just, neck's hurting a little bit. <laughs> just zero throttle. This thing glides really well. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, and this just seems like I'm asking for Just trouble. cruise, girl. You got it. I have tears going down my face oh, right now because of the lack of blinking. Hmm. <laughs> Does anybody else do that when they fly? So you guys know. They just don't blink. She's out there, like spaceman out there. <laughs> now that would be a good approach for a landing, but we still have flight time. I recommend Back you fly for another minute or so at least. Can you even see that that was a loop? Because I could barely tell. If you I did, a did a loop. Yeah, you did a loop. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a great I have a lot of practice. it's a great trainer plane it's a good price point and it's a great size but as you guys saw when i did a maiden and if you did not see that flight i highly recommend you do just so you can kind of see what this airplane is capable of for more advanced maneuvers we're going to be quiet because i think abby's focused on landing she took a couple steps out that's a pretty good indicator Everybody give Abby a like right now while she's bringing this plane in. You're okay. You can give it some power if you want to. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. That's okay, that's okay. Bouncing like that is very common. You did a very good job. And it has a really good steerable nose wheel so you can taxi very well. <laughs> I'm crying. Can you see that? Literally crying. <laughs> Any day you can take your plane home in one piece is a great day at the field, so I'm happy. That was my maiden flight of the Arrows Trekker. One of the first Arrows planes of this size that I have not crashed right out the gate. So for that, I'm impressed. I, I did not think this would be as agile as what it is. I can tell that it's gonna be a super capable airplane as soon as I take it out of that stabilization mode. I can tell that it's going to be able to really zip and not zip. Is that the word I'm thinking of? Sure, fast. Zip, zap, zoop, zop. Sure, through the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Even in the stabilization mode, you had a lot of authority, especially with your elevator, to really get used to what each direction, what each stick on your controller does. And Abby's not used to flying with this radio. Right, so that was a whole different thing too. Usually I use the Spectrum NX6, um, so using the ready to fly was a little bit different too with trying to feel it out. That radio is more sensitive than like a higher hobby grade radio, so that's another reason yeah. it felt like that. You can get this fine and fly though, right? Uh, plug and play. Plug and play, okay. I always forget how that <laughs> Well, <laughs> plug and play means you need a receiver yeah, and right, a battery. Right. If you all didn't know that, if it says RTF, that means ready to fly. It has everything you need in the box to fly. If it says bind and fly, usually it will have some type of receiver. So you just need your own transmitter that matches up to whatever receiver is in the box. And if it says PNP, that means plug and play, and you need a transmitter and your own receiver. And, and a battery. if it says ARF, good luck. Because <laughs> yeah. that means you got killed. <laughs> that means almost ready to fly. <laughs> Kit's even worse. <laughs> even worse you're exactly right <laughs> well for an awesome day of flying getting back 
behind the sticks of a good trainer plane. I thank God that this was a lot of fun to fly. I'm really impressed. And I think this could teach a lot of people how to fly and get a lot of people in the air. I also want to say a huge thanks to our patron family members. You guys are the backbone to our channel and just amazing people. And we thank you guys so much. I'll have Nate's flight of this RC plane popping up right about now so you can see what it's actually capable of. He's just slightly better than me. Just as I bend the elevator. That's the rudder. <laughs> that is the rudder. <laughs> oh boy. I need a nap. <laughs> I'll have that video popping up right about now for you guys to go check out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you over there. Bye!